What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Let's quickly speak about fixing crashes in Assassin's Creed Shadows. Obviously, before we even begin breaking down exactly what you can do to try and fix things, make sure that your graphics card driver is up to date, and of course, Windows as well. Windows Update does update your graphics driver, but manually download the latest version from NVIDIA, AMD, Intel, or whoever your graphics card manufacturer's website is. You'll find links down below to help get you there. Once you install the latest graphics driver and make sure Windows is up to date, reboot your PC and see if things work properly. Odds are they might. If that obvious step didn't work, here's a couple of other things that we can do to try and fix it. If the game is crashing either on launch, black screening, or you're getting to the menu and it's crashing, or just beyond that and it's crashing every five minutes or so, this video should still help you regardless. There's a couple of simple fixes that we should do anyways. First of all, verifying integrity of a game files, as obvious as it seems, and sure you may have just downloaded the game, but something may be corrupt and incorrect. To verify your game files on Ubisoft Connect or Uplay, head across to the Games tab, My Games, Find Shadows, click the three dots, and then from the Manage tab, select Verify Files. This will run through all of your installed files, make sure everything matches the latest version on the server, and if anything's corrupt or missing, it'll be verified, downloaded, and replaced. If you have the game on Steam, right-click it, Properties, and on the Installed Files tab, simply click Verify Integrity of Game Files here. If you have it on the Xbox app on PC, possibly through the Game Pass in the future, simply just right-click the game wherever it's installed, choose Manage, Files, and then here choose Verify and Repair. Finally, if you have the game on Epic Games, head to Library, find it here, click the three dots underneath it, then Manage, followed by Verify Files right over here. Once it verifies all of the game files, you'll likely have better luck. Then, if you're getting some kind of MSVCP 140 or something DLL or VC Runtime DLL error, there's a very simple fix. Simply open up the game's files and we'll run the VC Redist installer through them. To get to the game files through Ubisoft Connect or Uplay, click three dots under Assassin's Creed Shadows, hover over Manage, choose Properties, then on the Installation tab, choose Open Folder here. Then you'll see all of the game files, EXEs, etc. On Steam, right-click the game, Manage, and Browse Local Files. On the Xbox app, right-click the game, Manage, Files, and then Browse here. Finally, Epic Games, Library, Find the Game, Three Dots, Manage, and then installation, you'll find this small button over here. This opens the game's folder. Once you get to this folder here, we'll also be returning here in the future for another step to keep this folder open. What you wanna do is head into the installer resources folder, followed by VC Redist, and you'll find the VC redistributable file here, straight from Microsoft. Run this, I agree, install, and wait for this to finish. This installs the latest version of the Visual C++ 2015 to 2022 redistributable for 64-bit PCs, and when it's done, you should no longer receive the VC runtime or MSVCP error that you were getting before. Another thing that we can do, which could possibly be an issue, is that Windows and the antivirus built into it, for some reason, could be stopping the game from accessing files it needs in the documents and related folders. To check this, hit start, and then type in settings, open up settings inside of here, head across to the privacy and security tab, followed by Windows security, then open Windows security, and inside of here, assuming you don't have a separate third-party antivirus installed, under virus and threat protection, you'll be able to go into ransomware protection here. On a device that doesn't have a third-party antivirus installed, from that same page, you'll find a ransomware protection at the very bottom. Choose manage, then turn it off, or if it happens to be on, choose allow an app through controlled folder access, yes, add an allowed app, browse all apps, and then navigate to where the game's installed. I'll need to do this on my normal PC, We'll navigate through Uplay, Steam, Xbox, whatever it is, into this folder here. Then we'll select and add acshadows.exe and acshadowsplus.exe. Once you've added both of these files to the exceptions list, it'll no longer be blocked by Windows antivirus and the game should hopefully work properly. A bit weird, but this issue does still sometimes exist if games happen to read files in weird ways. Then if you're crashing before you even see the intro videos or they're just not working properly, 
and you happen to be using a Windows N version, not a normal Windows version, then you may be missing the Media Pack, which allows you to view the intro videos and things like that needed for this game to work properly. This is only for Windows N users. If you're not a Windows N user, skip ahead. You'll find timestamps down below. Simply hit Start, type in Settings, head across to the Apps tab on the far left, followed by Optional Features. For me, on the latest version of Windows 11, this icon is actually missing, so searching for Optional Features, clicking this here. Ah, it's under System now. Pretty cool. You'll find Add an Optional Feature. Choose View Features, and then inside of here, search for Media, where you'll need to install the Media Feature Pack. If you don't see it here, and it's not currently installed, you can try and manually download it, though just verify you are actually using an N version of Windows. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this page where you can download the Media Feature Pack for N versions of Windows. Just choose your edition here, confirm, wait for it to download, and install it. That's it. Assuming that doesn't work or you're not using a Windows N version, let's try and fix a possible issue if you're on a laptop, on a system with an integrated GPU and a dedicated GPU or multiple GPUs. Hit Start and type in Settings. Inside of the normal Settings window, head across to the System tab, followed by Display. All the way at the very bottom, you'll find Graphics. You can also get here by hitting Start and searching for Graphics. In here, you'll need to click Add a Desktop app, then you'll need to navigate to where the game is installed. Use the same method as mentioned previously. From here, right-click anywhere at the very top and choose Copy Address. Then inside of this pop-up window, click at the very top in an empty space, Control V to paste, Enter to navigate here. Add AC Shadows just by double-clicking on it, then add a desktop app and add AC Shadows Plus as well. Then expand AC Shadows, and for GPU preference, select from the drop-down your high-performance GPU where your display is plugged in. The same goes for AC Plus over here. Then if you wish, you can also try toggling and playing around with the optimizations for windowed games option, but for the most part, that won't matter. Once you've made this simple change, it should be running on the correct GPU and any issues that you could be having should be fixed. If you're still having issues, head back to where the game is installed using a previous method. Right-click on AC Shadows, then choose Properties, and on the Compatibility tab, make sure that Run This Program as an Administrator is ticked. You can also try disabling full-screen optimizations if you haven't already done that in the previous step. Hit Apply, OK, then do the same for AC Shadows Plus. Running the game as admin will stop hotkeys for things like Discord, unless those are also running as admin as well, so keep that in mind. If you're still having issues and you have the game installed anywhere but your Windows drive, especially if it's a fast SSD, then try moving the game to your Windows drive if it's a faster SSD. Of course, if you have space. If you're still having issues, it's a good idea to temporarily disable any overclocks or undervolts you have on your graphics card or CPU, or even RAM for that matter, as instability can be a big issue, especially when it comes to very specific workloads, such as one game versus another. Not to mention, if you have any kind of overlay, even the Ubisoft overlay itself, or Discord overlay, FPS counters like River Tuner or MSI Afterburner, those could all be causing issues when they're hooking into the game, especially on launch. Try disabling those, and hopefully things will improve. And finally, if none of these things work for you, make sure to check the comments down below. And of course, if you come across a solution, please do leave it down below to help other people as well. Your help is greatly appreciated. Thank you all for watching. My name is Troubleshoot. Hopefully things will fix for you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.